So we're here in Clock Jordan Eco Village in Ireland and um, we've been talking here about a bunch of things over the last hour or two. Uh, yeah, so maybe you could tell us a bit like who you are, what you're doing. Okay, uh, so I'm Helen Marquet, so I've, uh, I'm French and I'm here just to woofing. I, at first I wanted to come here to woof and so I just realized that I wanted to make some portraits of the people here and to know more about how the eco village works and so at first I just came for roofing so I came back and I just discovered that there are so many things happening here so I mean when you come here at first you just see that there are a lot of buildings very new and there are there are different way of constructing but then what is very interesting is when you meet the people and you see that there are a lot of things happening like in the way of governance here for example and uh, in the eco village the people organize themselves in a way there is no real uh, boss so it's a very interesting thing because they could organize themselves to build all the houses to make the plan for all the village and now they also have the community farm here uh, where i'm working as a woofer okay so woofing is uh, willing workers on, on organic farms wait, right uh, it's uh, a volunteering like world Oh, I can't remember. Yeah, well, why, why it, volunteering it, in ecological like, farm or something yeah. like that? So okay. it means that you just come here and you work in the community farm. So mm -hmm. it's six hours per day, and then you'll be fed and you will be hosted in the eco hostel here. Yeah. So um, to give some uh, idea of what this place is, we're standing more or less in the middle of the eco village. Mm -hmm. uh, that over there is Django's hostel. Uh, and there's some buildings being built. This is one of the only construction sites in Ireland that's still actively being built. It's the first eco village in Ireland. Yeah, and uh, so Ireland was hit pretty hard by economic recession uh, about two years ago. I think more. Uh, three years ago, maybe. Yeah. And, uh, and most building sites have just uh, become empty. Uh, I'm told mm -hmm. but this one's thriving yeah it's because there were a lot of people living in Dublin and they um, how uh, it was I think I think it was 10 years ago or less uh, it was really good for the the economy and so the people they were able to sell their house in Dublin very often and so they had some money to build their house here mm -hmm. so maybe to, to describe hey <laughs> <laughs> right. right some people yeah. going through <laughs> yeah, they have unicycles perfect. and everything all right yeah. and so, so maybe if oh. i can describe the village i don't know if you have description already oh uh, no well go ahead so here is um it will be the marketplace here so it's supposed to be two community buildings <laughs> okay so it's bruce one of the farmer going great <laughs> so uh, here is a marketplace there are supposed to be two community buildings here yep uh, with co-housing, with different shops, and with also uh, a building where it would be possible to make conferences, theater, and everything. But they don't have the money now to build them. Okay. So and. So future plans. Future plans. Yeah. Say. Uh, what else can I say? Um, mm -mm -mm. Well, here's here's mostly residential. There's some different building styles. Yeah. Um, over here we've got a building which is made from... Cap? Uh, what? How, how do you call it? Uh, in English? It, it's like, it seems like straw and mud, is that right? Yeah, but it's called cap construction, I think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, cap. So uh, that's a very weird house and it'll be interesting to see. Yeah, um, so this one is a kit house made with wood. Okay. And so uh, I think the, the other one there was also a kit house okay. with timber frame. Okay. And, um, and the, the only parameter is they have to be uh, energy efficient. Yeah, right. there is a, actually there is a chart uh, the people have to uh, fulfill when they uh, when they buy um, how do you call it uh, the lots. Yeah, when yeah. they buy one, they have to then. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I okay. <laughs> yeah, you understand what I mean. Yeah, yeah. And and then up up there is uh, like behind there is a farming area, isn't it? Yeah. Or so it means there is there are some field there. There is also a, a wood which uh, woodland will be here because the fact was they they have sixty seven acres mm -hmm. and they decided that a third would be just for construction houses and so just a space with uh, trees and everything around the houses gardens. Mm -hmm. and then uh, a third will be the farm, so okay. the fields for the farm, and the third would be the wood. 
and uh, so that's why so it means okay. that when someone is uh, buying a, uh, how do you say it um, uh, a land or a, uh, so a plot for when a house. someone is buying a land here yeah. uh, at the same time uh, they also pay for the common places so that is to say they also pay for the fields yeah uh, for a part for the fields and a part for the wood okay and every person also who has an a place here has also an allotment there mm -hmm. so it permits the people uh, the people there are they can uh, grow their own vegetables in a hundred quarters uh, yep. uh, garden then there are also we have to go further and there is also um, the biggest solar panel uh, field in Ireland okay it's 400 quadrat meters if I'm yeah. not wrong and there is also a heating center mm -hmm. so here uh, so the heating center provides um, uh, energy for hot water for all the village mm -hmm. and also for the heating in the houses but actually they don't use it a lot for heating because they are very efficient the houses yeah so they are very uh, very warm so they yeah. don't need it a lot and so this heating system has two boilers mm -hmm. but at the moment there's just one which is used and so it's used with wood yeah um, so uh, I, I was told yesterday it was primarily run off the solar panels for the heating uh, as well and then they c uh, turn on the wood chip burner if if needed yeah uh, but I, I i have the impression that it's mostly the boiler which okay. is working at the moment okay yeah yeah so uh explain the community farm a bit because <laughs> the, uh, that that seems a bit interesting um yes. so uh, um, the community is chipping in to pay farmers to uh, grow things and then the food is delivered somewhere where people can just pick it up. Is yeah. that, uh, w what's the arrangement on that and how is it working? So I'm not the expert of uh, the community farm but what I can say that uh, so it was part of the project of the Eco Village to have a community farm at the same time because the idea is to be self-sufficient and to have uh, their own vegetables here. Mm. And so at first uh, it was just one farmer, but it was very difficult for the farmer to do everything, to, to deal with everything because um, they don't have a uh, labor force here mm -hmm. to work in the farm. So they had some woofers, so it was difficult for the, f the farmer to deal with vegetables, yep. woofers and everything. So they decided to, um, to have three farmers and everyone is specialized in a special field. So there is one farm which is further away and the man is um, working with uh, animals and so there are some cows uh, which pro uh, who provide milk uh, there are some uh, sheep to provide meat and uh, some ducks and what else um, chicken to have also eggs okay and so there is a second farmer is full full-time employed here and he's uh, working with all the vegetables mm -hmm. and there is a third one who's part-time working here with Bruce which just saw him before yep. and he is working with um, uh, with the polytunnels there are four poly oh, polytunnels yeah. with beans and he's trying to do some experimentation with beans especially okay. and so uh, all the people belonging to the farm they just pay I think uh, I can't remember the price but they pay like every week and uh, to have vegetables every week provided in the farm there okay so it means every week as so. woofers we uh, harvest the vegetable yep uh, it should be twice a week I think and twice a week we we then put the vegetables in the farm, the people they can just come and take the, the, the vegetables. So it's like a warehouse full of food that members can get yeah. food from? Yeah, so there are a lot of uh, carrots, potatoes, cabbage a lot, uh, beetroots and mm -hmm. different salads. Yeah. And some meats and... Yeah, so for meat it's not completely... Um, um, so is there, there are just a lot, some people they have paid for also some... Uh, pigs yeah and the pork pork yeah and so they have some meat but it's just once a year they have meat of sheep and uh, about the about the pork it's just for a few people they pay for it so okay. it's not it's not for meat it's not completely yeah work, working but for okay. milk yeah okay and for vegetables of course that's great mm. oh. so I mean this is basically an experiment and it seems to be working so far so. yeah I, I think it is and as I say the way of government is very interesting because there are so different type of activities they divide it in two ways uh, primary activities which, has, are re which are related to the main goals of the eco village here so to say the uh, the place here then 
uh, I can't remember all the, the primary activities, but then there are a lot of different workshops, work groups, mm -hmm. and though they um, they meet together and they work on the project. But what is interesting is that they all uh, decide with consensus. Okay, uh, so all, all consensus based. Yeah, that's that's rare in mm. a society that's this large. So, uh, so they have. Uh, they have people helping them also for the way of governing and so and uh, yeah it's very interesting yeah well we'll we'll watch the developments uh, the future yeah actually there is also a business center and you will be, be a part of it because they uh, new to the energy center with solar panel uh, and uh, heating center yeah there is a, um, a business center and the idea is to have some enterprises here yeah and maybe some enterprises to transform the products uh, provided by the farm mm -hmm. into I don't know special jam or I don't know what maybe okay. or some also a fab lab yeah. like you were talking about yep. so different projects with, will grow then also in the business center so mm -hmm. the idea is that everything could be here like some co-housing here for the people maybe working in the business center I don't know and so yeah, yeah great mm -hmm. well thanks for a great overview <laughs> all right you're welcome